Right, now we're on question five, okay, of the October 2020 exam, AS Pure Paper, P1. So, in this question, we have got a triangle. Figure one shows the design of a for a structure used to support a roof. The structure consists of four beams, AB, blah, blah, blah. So let's fill in the information. So AB is 12. I could actually make a bit bigger, can I? BC, BC, and BD are the same at seven. It's meters, isn't it, not centimeters? And angle BAC, BAC, it's 27, which it's got. Lovely. Find to one decimal place um, the size of angle ACB, ACB. So we want this one. Okay, so looking at the information we've got, we've got that and that is opposite, and we've got that and that. So we have something ready for a sine rule. So let's have a look at that. So A. So sine c over little c equals sine a over little a, which is the same as saying um, sine c over 12 equals sine of 27 over 7. So sine c must equal sine of 27 over 7 times 12. So c equals the inverse of that. So... Sine 27 times 12 divided by 7 in the sine answer gives me 51.1. Okay, now if that is the case, then this angle here is 180 minus that, which is 128. Now, this is an isosceles triangle, which means this one would be 128. So that really can't happen. <laughs> So, we've obviously got something wrong. This isn't an acute angle. So, if we think about the sine curve and the value we had, whatever it was, gave us this first answer of 51.1, there is another answer here. And this is the one we're after. So, what we're looking for is 180 minus 51.1 which is 128.9. So this answer here is 128.9 degrees, and that would give you your full marks for that. Okay, so if we then look at the next question, um, the steel beams should be what whole length, find the minimum length of steel. So we need to add it all up. So what we've got at the moment is 12 plus 7 plus 7 plus AD. So we need that length. So we could think about it separately, obviously, or we could think about it as a whole. So we just need to maybe get some of the other angles. So if that one's 128.51, one, uh, we know that this is 51.1. We also know that this is 51.1. It'll fit in. Oops. Um, which means we know that 51.1 times 2 minus 180 will give us 77.8 for this one. Because we've got those two, 128.9 1, 2, 8 and 27, we can get this one, which is 24.1, which means that that whole angle is 24.1 plus 77.8 which gives us 101.9, I think. Is that 101.9? Good. For that to, okay, the whole of that angle B. So, now, if we just think about this, I've got this angle as 101.9. I want to find that. I know that is 12 and that is 7. So it's calling to be a cosine. So A, D squared, or A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2B, C cos A. 
In this case, it's AD squared equals 12 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 12 times 7 times cos of 1 over 1.9. AD squared equals 12 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 12 times 7 times cos of 1 1.9. Gives me 227. Six four two square root that answer A D is fifteen point zero nine. Add that to the others. The final answer for B so I've got twelve plus seven plus seven plus fifteen point zero nine gives me forty one point zero nine because they've got to buy only bought in whole meters, we've got to buy fifty two meters.